I was sleeping in the alleyway. I had no place to sleep. It, it gets cold at nighttime. So it, it gets like 25 degrees out, 30 degrees out. It, it's, not, it's not pleasant. I had no money or nothing. I keep it clean. I don't use any uh, alcohol or drugs or something bad. I'm trying to survive like everyone else. All I want to do is go back to work and just to be a normal person like everyone else. But until I can, I have to do this. And it's the most degrading, humiliating thing I've ever done in my life. Two years ago, if you would ever ask me that I would be outside with a cup in my hand, I would have cursed you out and said, you must be out of your mind. Uh, we, I go sometimes to the shelter. If it's so crowded, we have a waiting room in the station. They allow us to, to stay in the winter time when it's cold. So after uh, they close by uh, 1 o'clock. So uh, everybody go to the train. Uh, it can happen to anyone. Anyone. So, I don't care what job you have. You can be a banker. You can be... A real estate agent, you can be a car salesman, whoever you are, whatever you are, your job is not guaranteed for tomorrow. So, and you can apply for unemployment, and it only lasts uh, six months or so. And after that, what are you going to do if you don't have a job? You can't pay your rent anymore, and that's for you're out in the street with everyone else. So, it's like just. You know, park yourself on a park bench and be lucky you have that. I came home from the military. I was living on Madison. I was paying sixty dollars a month. I see a place right now. Of course, it's twenty-seven hundred dollars. You know, uh, I was working. I done construction. Right now, I have cancer. Okay, you know, I have a. I was feeding too. You know. And so on. And ever since the war, you know, this new war, the government has really turned its back on old veterans. Hopefully, tomorrow will be a lot better day than today. Just live day by day. And just keep on keeping on.